the New Look State Cabinet has hit the road for the first time. At the top of the agenda is emergency repairs to East Coast roads, which could cost up to $8 million. The government says it won't affect the budget bottom line. St Mary's Pass was the first stop for the Premier on her two-day tour of the North East. After three major floods since January, the pass resembles a construction site rather than the gateway to the East Coast. The repair work will be paid for by a state government contingency fund, avoiding any more strain on the already tight budget. The road was closed three weeks ago for major repair work, which will cost up to $8 million. Well, clearly the Tasmanian government has the bulk of the responsibility under the disaster uh, fund uh, to fund these uh, works and that's what we'll do. It's not expected to reopen until the end of June, forcing traffic heading to the northeast into a 30-minute detour. I understand the anxiety of people on the east coast and having this very major part of their transport system closed down. There are alternative routes, of course, out of St Helens. We're still here, we're still working, the shops are still open, hotels are still open, and above all, the beaches are still there. While Cabinet came face to face with the people of St Helens, the Liberals also announced plans for more community engagement. They're embarking on a statewide tour to gather ideas about how to turn Tasmania around. We believe that Tasmanians aren't being listened to by this government. Well, we're going to fill that void. Will Hodgman believes in nothing and stands for nothing, and this just highlights that that is in fact the truth. Send the police. Someone's just broken in. Environment groups have also launched a new advertising campaign against Forestry Tasmania. Airing for the first time tonight, the ads are calling for the state-owned company to be dismantled to save frontline public sector jobs. The state government needs to make a decision to stop costing the taxpayer by continuing to give millions of dollars in taxpayer subsidies to Forestry Tasmania at the expense of key community services. The $20,000 advertising campaign is being funded by a single anonymous donor. Forestry Tasmania declined to comment and the government announced last week it's conducting an independent review into the company. Cabinet will meet in St Helens tomorrow. Jonathan Gould, ABC News, St Helens.